I just got a package. All the way from the Netherlands, this package contains everything I'll be taking for the next month. 18 one gram truffles, lion's mane, and niacin. So the best way to take these bad boys is on an empty stomach before 10 a.m. And according to the stammer stack, I'm gonna take one gram truffles and two 400 milligram lion's mane. Here goes. So I just went to work for a few hours and I had a text from my girlfriend. She also microdosed with me this morning, but she's in ketosis. Apparently mushies are way more potent when you're in ketosis. So she had a few hours kind of tripping. She said it was great. And I'm glad I wasn't in ketosis because I would have been tripping at work. But on my end, nothing really to report. My mood was really good, but I'm going into this experiment with no expectations, just taking it day by day. So I've taken the mushies already today, but I forgot to tell you yesterday about the niacin. This is the third ingredient to the stamina stack. We take it with food, never on an empty stomach. And yesterday it caused a flush where my face and my neck and my hands went super red. And according to Stamets, this all important flush causes the niacin to taxi the psilocybin and the lion's mane through our blood brain barrier to the end of our neurons. And this promotes neuroplasticity. Let's see what happens today. It happened again. Today we spent the day filming for my other YouTube channel, link down below. And I noticed I'm just not getting frustrated at all. Normally a little bit of impatience builds up in me. I'm not so chilled. Now this could just be placebo or a really good day of filming, good circumstances. Let's investigate further. Today I got invited to a barbecue and without question, I was in. I got the address and it turns out it was quite a long way away, but I set myself a challenge to cycle out there. It took me two hours and it was a pretty tough ride on a bike with no gears, but I noticed that I didn't overthink the decision. I just went for it and I enjoyed it. When I finally arrived, it was super nice to socialize, but I almost missed cycling through nature by myself. I also found this hat. I'm getting used to this now. I forgot to take the niacin today. I hope it's okay. Normally because of the niacin, I get that flush and tingly feeling, but I didn't get that today. And that's week one finished. It's four days on and three days off. I don't know if it's because it's summer or it's because of the mushies, but everyone and everything just seems happier. But I'll check back in with you on day eight. So I did a little mini experiment on the three days rest day. I took one niacin pill to see if I would get the flush, but it seems like it just doesn't work without the lion's mane and the psilocybin. It's just any old vitamin B3 tablet. Mushies, mushies, mushies. So I've been doing a little bit of research and I've got to share with you guys about the difference between truffles and actual mushrooms. So I'm taking one gram of truffles and truffles are way less potent than if you grew or cultivated your own mushrooms. A microdose of actual mushrooms would be around 0.2 to 0.3 grams. And a microdose of truffles is around 0.5 grams to two grams. Now a macro dose of mushrooms would be two to three grams and a macro dose of truffles would actually be around 10 grams. Truffles, truffles, truffles. I set myself a task yesterday to come down to the river and swim, jump in nice and early. The weather's really gloomy and I noticed my body was resisting this morning. It didn't want to, 
but the mushies I think are helping me realize if I'm resisting and I can decide if I want to listen to it or not. But I guess if we try to stay aware as much as possible and let go of any negative conditioning, we can make the best decisions for ourselves in the present moment. It started raining a little bit, so I've come under this tree to enjoy some breakfast and some niacin. Another beautiful day. Today's been real gloomy and wet and I'm definitely one of those people who's affected by bad weather. I was talking to a client today about how I used to travel and experience a lot. And in these last few lockdown years, I feel like it's been real unhealthy for everyone. And I feel like my life force energy has been depleted a little bit, my lust for life. So I want to consciously rebuild this. I had the weirdest dreams last night. I've been reading this book called Decomposing the Shadow by James W. Gesso, highly recommend. And I've been reading the chapter about facing our shadow to become whole and how we often repress our darker emotions. I feel like my dreams released a lot of my subconscious to me last night. I was witnessing a lot of darker traits I was once more accustomed to. I was definitely a different person in the past. So my girlfriend only took half a dose of mushies today, so I took the other half. So I had 1.5 grams of mushies today. So I thought I'd also try out 1.5 grams of niacin, and I am on fire. This is the reddest and the tingliest I've been this whole time. Hectic day today, guys. A lot of work done, but it is my girlfriend's birthday today, so I gotta go. I'll see you tomorrow. Last day of week three today. That means only one more week of microdosing left to go. But I wanted to ask you guys, because something's been popping up. Do you also have this issue with authority? Like a title or a badge somehow giving power is quite a strange concept to me. I've been getting a little bit frustrated of people trying to force control, but only because I find it super illogical what they're asking. I wondered if you guys had this thing as well, or I wondered if you guys think maybe that's just me holding on to control too tightly and I actually need to let go. If all suffering comes from within, is it something they're projecting or is it something I'm projecting? Is this part of my shadow self? For the last few days of microdosing, I've decided to up my dosage to two gram truffles. Let's go on a trip. Not that kind of trip. I've got a train to catch. The last two days of taking two grams, I've noticed my body relaxes and my lungs really open up. It's like my chest expands and I breathe so deeply. It's either that or it's the mountain air. Today we spent the day at a lake. It's been so nice having nature literally on a doorstep. I've not been too introspective these past couple of days, but I have noticed I've been very present, which is good. And I'm heading home. It's uh, been a short trip, but it's been really beautiful. The train out here is definitely worth it. Super beautiful views and a nice bit of time to reflect. I'm still taking two grams and I'm still noticing that real open feeling in my chest. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So yesterday was a long journey home. The train was canceled, everything was delayed. And I was very aware of the uncomfortable feelings that arise when 
a situation doesn't work out exactly as you plan or expect. And that's actually something I've been working on for a while. It's trying to relinquish all expectations. And I think two grams of truffles has been the perfect microdose for me. I imagine everyone's a little bit different, so I'm glad I experimented these last few days. And the sun is now setting on my microdosing journey. A few things have popped up which have made this journey completely worth a try, but now I'm entering the phase of integration. How can I fit these moments of awareness into my everyday life. I still remain very curious and I'm definitely planning on integrating these medicines into my life more. And I wanna thank you guys for joining me on this journey. Please drop me a comment if you wanna know more, if you wanna know how the integration's going, or let me know if I've missed something. Please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, all of that. Hit all the buttons and thank you for watching. Mwah.